Jump into this little debate here quick before we get into the Patriots stuff. And well, ma- basically, the Patriots have won championships based on their defense, of course. But but uh, this draft feels like it's real offense heavy, especially in the top ten. Like there is this thought you might not see a defensive player chosen until after the top ten. And and I'm trying to tell him it's the league is really slanting more towards offense and skill uh, and scoring. And and for some reason, uh, uh, you know, a wide receiver who loved to score and dominate defenses is trying to tell me that, you know, defense is still very important in this league. I mean, am I crazy? Like, this feels like it's a new era where offense is really king now. Well, Alan, and I was listening to you talk with Keyshawn here, and, and I saw this Adam Schefter tweet that today, 40 years ago, this is the anniversary that the Giants – drafted Lawrence Taylor with the second overall pick. And I thought it was sort of a timely thing to bring up because I, I, I can almost probably put Keyshawn back in those meetings when he was playing for Parcells and Belichick, and they would talk about complementary football. See, I don't think it's about just offense or just defense. I think it's about the best team, offense, defense, special teams. And that's what I think you saw in the Super Bowl. Like, it's not – yeah, I, I actually, Alan, I could see it like – the, the game is geared more toward offense and the rules, but if you don't have the other two phases squared away, it's going to be hard to win a Super Bowl, in my opinion. Yeah, no, that, that is very true. you got to have all three phases covered, and the rules do slant toward the offensive side of the ball, but you got to have defense when it comes down to it. Let's talk about the Patriots for a minute. When we look at the New England Patriots and where they're at in the draft, sitting at 15 right now, if Justin Fields is somehow passed over at three, are the New England Patriots going to make a move to try to figure out how to get him? Keyshawn, I, you know, if they make a move, I, I don't sense listening to Bill Belichick that it would be like a bold move, like we're going from 15 to four up to where Atlanta sits. Seven where the Lions are, eight where the Panthers are. Seems like to me – where the discussion would at least start. And the reason I say that is if you look at the old points chart that Jimmy Johnson used to use for trades, which Bill Belichick has referenced, that's just about the area where you can move up to without giving up your, your next year's first-round pick. Mm. And Bill Belichick in 20 years drafting with the Patriots has never given up a future first-round pick Usually that's just too valuable for him to do that, and, and that's why I would say that's where the conversation would have to start. Let me ask you this, Mike. Having covered the New England Patriots for such a long time, and when you look at the style of quarterback, and it, look, the times have changed. Tom Brady, Matt Castle, Jimmy Garoppolo, Jacoby Brissett. I mean, I can go on. Davey from LSU. I can go on and on and on about the quarterbacks that have been in the building. Justin Fields is more Cam Newton and not Tom Brady. Is that why Fields is rumored as a possible target for the Patriots? Good question, and really, to me, the question, Key, because I've been trying to drill down to see what are the Patriots looking for in their quarterback? Like, do they want to go back to sort of what they had, obviously, with Tom, but but the traits – that made Tom special, the accuracy, the decision-making, the anticipation, or have they sort of graduated into this different type of quarterback? And I don't have the answer to that specific question, Keith, but my instinct tells me that they still value those old traits. Like they're not necessarily moving on to this new age of quarterbacks. And so it gives me a little bit of a pause to say that they would be all in on a Justin Fields. Now, I'm not saying they wouldn't necessarily do it, but it would be a little bit of a departure from what Bill Belichick has said over the years he really looks for at the quarterback position. Now, Mike, we just have about like about 30 seconds here, but just I, it won't take long to answer this one because of now what Kyle Shanahan's saying with the 49ers, and they're just, it's pretty clear they want to get a quarterback there. When does the uh, Jimmy G back to the Patriots rumors really get hot? Or, or were they not? You'd think You'd think the second round, Alan, right? I mean, they gave up uh, a second – they got a, a second rounder to trade him, and if they were going to ever get him back, you know, you'd think maybe they're picking at 46 in the second round. Maybe they're on the clock. If they don't have a quarterback at that point, maybe they, maybe they reach out and say, hey, 49ers, would you consider maybe, you know, taking this second rounder and maybe we bring Jimmy back home? All right. Mike, appreciate you as always. Thanks so much.